Yes. Good morning again. Good morning. This is Spirit Journey. I just have another thing to share with you. It was just a, a thought that came to my mind. Yeah, it, it's still Friday, June 7, 2019, and it's now about 6.33 a.m. in the morning. I have my little my little doggy woggies with me in bed. And I was just looking at my little boy who was staring at me, my little Pekingese. And I just started thinking about something. Like I, I just mentioned about the the vision thing or whatever what it is that I get when I'm waking up in the morning. And sometimes I could see images. Sometimes it's very, over time it's very faint. And then sometimes it's, you know, momentarily it gets very clear. I was just like, now if someone is really contained in something, and like the matrix, they're harvesting your energy and they're able to make you see things and create a reality for you. Now I look at, now, now they say everything is like energy. Now let's say we, we really live in a world like that. And I, I think I mentioned something like this in another video, but like everything is energy and it wants to gather your energy and generate you into activity even though you're physically doing something, but it's also your mind that's being active also in the process. And that's what they want you to do. And energy action, like a generator, that produces energy for them. What if, now this is really, <laughs> you're going to think this is really funny, but weird, but I'll share it to you anyway. What if your little pooches, your little baby wabies, you know, like your, your little lap dog, and you notice like things that are small and really furry and cute and large eyes, that it that it's, um, provokes you to want to pet the little animal, to talk to the little animal, things like that. And my little boy is looking at me with his big eyes. And then I noticed I started petting him. Now, what if these things around us, these little furry friends of ours, are actually designed to generate more energy? You pet them. You hug them, you walk them. These things create an energy from you. It, it, it increases it. Now, what if this la la land that we may actually belong to? Now, what if when they need to create more energy, maybe they have a maybe on the other side they have a party, they or they they, they have an activity that requires more energy, more battery juice. And they need for us to generate more energy, just like you have a slave driver, or maybe you have a matrix driver, and things are created for you to increase activity. So they may encourage you to fight, you know, like what they call warfare, racial riots. Uh, tornadoes, earthquakes, spouse abuse, you name it, it's there. Don't you notice like things could get intensified? And you wonder, well, why are these things happening? Why, like, like this, I was listening to a video yesterday. This guy who used to work for one of the ABC agencies, and he entered the military and he studied to eventually apply for one of the ABC agencies while in the military. And one day he told like he he's studied different things and 
he studied a, a particular subject long enough and he felt that he was able to share information with his higher ups. And then he said, hey, I, <clears throat> I have a suggestion about what could be done to uh, promote peace and everything I have. I wrote up this thing. And you know, they started harassing him and he was forced out. They didn't want to hear it because it's too profitable to have um, fighting and bickering on the planet. This ABC agency was not there to combat these events that happen all over the planet, okay? Like 9-11. But he thought that's what why they were there and it was his job to finance this. And in actuality, it wasn't. And again, you have, like remember after World War II, when the other people um, who, who we were war warring with, they were permitted into our country and work and start up some of the ABC agencies. So if they started up these ABC agencies and started up the income tax happening, because again, the income tax wasn't always around. It started up in the 1930s. Why would anyone in their right mind want to start something like that? But it did happen. So I ask myself, why, why is this happening? So it's really, it's really telling about these, these happenings, that things that you see like hunger and war, you know, GMO food, you know, you ask yourself, hey, you know, I, I, I could create something better for us that could stop all this happenings and improve health, but they don't want that. So I, I started thinking, well, why? Well, like in the movie The Matrix, maybe certain things feed off a certain energy, right? And what if things are set? you know, and placed in this reality for you to interact with. And let's say these uh, cute little, you know, pets that we have, you pet them, you talk to them, and that generates energy, right? Yeah. It was just food for thought. Things happen for a reason. And no, I'm not saying not to pet your little pooch, even if it is true. Because, you know, with these furry friends of ours, they give us something back, too. That affection. What we call love. Yeah. I like that. I like hugging them. Because we all have to exchange energy, you know? <laughs> So this is just a thought that I have. And again, let me know what your thoughts are, what, what your insight is in this matter. Do you think we're living in a matrix? Do you think some of the things that are in it, the um, animals that are in our lives, the pets, and even some of the people that are there to generate your energy, to produce more energy, for them. So again, this is just more food for thought. And yes, comment below. Share this video with friends and family members. Please like. And again, should you like my content, my channel, you may wish to consider to donate to my PayPal Me account. You'll find the link on the top right banner on my channel, Spirit Journey. Just click on it and follow the prompts. Any amount will be appreciated. And I thank you in, in advance. 
So take care and enjoy the rest of this beautiful, cool morning day. Bye-bye.